So, you want to install Optifine in 2025 for Minecraft? Well, you have come to the right video. I'm gonna teach you the easiest and fastest way to install Optifine as well as how to add shaders to Optifine in 2025. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we have to do before we install Optifine is to meet the requirements of Optifine. And those are very simple. The first thing you have to make sure is that you own Minecraft and most importantly, that you run the version of Minecraft that you want to install Optifine for. For example, if you wanna install Optifine for Minecraft 1.21.4, you have to play 1.21.4 vanilla at at least once on your computer. Just open the game once and then close the game out and close the Minecraft launcher. And that's the first requirement. And the second requirement is that you have Java 21 installed on your computer. The thing is that after Minecraft got updated to Minecraft 1.20.5, you now require Java 21 installed in your computer before you install any mod for any Minecraft greater than that version I mentioned. Now in the description of this video, I'm going to leave you guys this article on how to install Java 21. It's pretty simple. You just download Java 21 over here. And then once you download it, you just hit next a couple of times on the installer and you have Java 21 installed in your computer and you'll be ready to install Optifine. After you have met the requirements, go ahead and click on the second link in the description and we're going to start with the installation of Optifine. Once you click on that link, that'll bring you over here to our guide on how to install Optifine. You don't have to read through this guide even though it's very, very in depth. We teach you how to install Optifine by itself as well as how to install Optifine with Forge in case you want to install Optifine and use mods at the same time, right? But if you just want to follow along this video, click on that second link, scroll down to the step Step one, the how to download Optifine, and then click on this button in here, the Optifine button, and that is going to redirect you to the Optifine page where you're going to select the version of Optifine that you want, right? You have all the versions in here. As long as you click on show all the versions, you'll see all of them. In this video, we're going to download the 1.21.4, but you might be watching this video in the future and you might wanna download a more recent version. If you don't have the version that you want already released and all you have is a preview, that also works. You could just download the preview by clicking more preview versions and then you click download in there. But if you already have the download button for that version, just go ahead and hit download as you can see on the other versions in here, right? In this case, we're gonna have to click on preview and then we're going to download the most recent preview just by clicking download in here. That will show you a short ad. It's just gonna take five seconds. This is done to support Optifine. You don't have to click anything else in here. Just watch the ad and then after five seconds, you're going to click a skip here on the top right. Click on a skip, that'll bring you over here where we finally could download the file. All we have to do is hit download and the download for Optifine will begin. This is the Optifine installer and we're gonna have to install that in just a second. So make sure you stay watching this video to learn how to install it without any issues. Now, while Optifine is downloading, guys, if you need a Minecraft server for Java or Bedrock, click on the second link in the description and I'll give you guys 25% off with Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting will actually let you create a server that supports not only Optifine, but they also support over 200 mod packs, meaning that just with the click of a button, you could install over 200 mod packs in less than five minutes. They also have locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about connection issues. And something I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could actually create the server and then access the server console through your phone, meaning that you don't even have to be at home to kick your friends out of the server, change the weather, change the settings, whatever you want to do. It is your server after all, and you could do all of that through your phone. I'm going to leave that first link in the description for you guys to get 25% off with Apex Hosting. And thank you, Apex Hosting, for sponsoring this video. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, after just five seconds, our Optifine installer downloaded. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. And now that we have the Optifine downloaded in our desktop, make sure you have closed your game as well as your Minecraft launcher. And all you have to do is double click on Optifine. And as long as you install Java 21 in the requirement sections of this video, you will have the Optifine installer in here open. And all you have to do now is hit install unless you change the default installation folder of Minecraft previously, which most of you wouldn't do that anyways. Just hit install and then hit OK. And then you could even now guys delete the Optifine installer from your desktop because you don't even need it anymore. Now, the next step is pretty important to get Optifine working. and also so we could test it out. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you open your Minecraft launcher. And once you open your Minecraft launcher, if you install Optifine properly, you should see Optifine selected automatically here in the launcher. Just give it a, a second for it to load. By the way, if it doesn't show Optifine automatically in here, just like it did for me, I'm gonna show you how to fix that, right? But there we go, we install Optifine properly. At this moment, all you have to do is hit play and that will open your Optifine version of Minecraft. And if you wanna learn how to add shaders, stay around for just a second or just read that article in the description, second link. But if you open your Minecraft launcher and Optifine wasn't selected, it automatically head over to installations make sure you select modded in there because without modded you actually won't see optifine and if that still doesn't show optifine for you in here just click on new 
installation, name this whatever you want, and then on the version, type Optifine, and then select the Optifine release that you install, right? So for me, it was a 1.21.4, name it whatever you want, and then hit install here on the bottom right, and that'll create an instance of Optifine for you. At this moment, most of you should have Optifine installed in your computer in 2025, and how do you add shaders, you might ask? All you have to do is hit play, open Optifine. It might give you this prompting here. If you don't know what this is, just click read more about player safety features, and then click understand the risk, and then hit play. And let's wait for the game to open so I could show you how to add shaders to Optifine in 2025. Now, once the game opens, we know that we're in Optifine because if we head over to options, we could see on video settings that this menu has changed a little bit and it literally says Optifine down here in the bottom left, right? But let's go ahead and launch a world so I could teach you guys how to add shaders. I'm just gonna open the first world that I have in here. Now, once we're inside the game, as you can see, we already have shaders working and also we have that Optifine zoom, but I'm gonna teach you how to add shaders super easy. All you have to do is press escape, head over to options, head over to video settings, and then head over to shaders. Now in here, you probably won't see anything. You're probably gonna have it on off, meaning that you probably won't have any shaders installed by default. I already have shaders because I have already downloaded shaders in the past, but this is probably what your game is going to look like and you're not gonna have anything in here. All you have to do guys is click on shaders folder and then this is going to open an empty folder and in here, just add the shaders that you want. Download a shader and then add the zip file in here. Now, if you don't have any shaders, we have a bunch of shaders in our website that you could download. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video that is going to bring you to our shader pack section in our website. As of right now, we only have two shaders, but by the time you watch this video, there's probably gonna be a lot of different shaders because we're adding shaders every week into this category in our website. And once you are set on a shader, just click on it. This is our guide on how to install the shaders, but to make it easy for you guys, if you just wanna download it, head over to that shaders link and then look for the version of the shader that you want. Hit these three dots, hit download file. Once you download that file, add it into this folder and then go back into the game and select those shaders and give it a second for it to load. Depending on your computer, that might take longer than me or might take less than me and once the shaders load that's it you could hit done go back into the game and you have some beautiful shaders in minecraft using optifine so that is it guys that is pretty much how to download and install optifine in 2025 as well as how to add shaders to optifine in 2025 i hope this video helped you out i hope you were able to install optifine if you did don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye